All right, we are out here at our neighbor's property. We have wild Caleri pear growing. We're gonna turn these into fruiting pear trees and we're gonna show you how, so stay tuned. All right, right here on, at the fence, uh, at this fence row is my neighbor's property right over there. If you notice out across his pasture, there's a bunch of Caleri pear. And if you were to walk across all this property that he's got out here, there's probably at least 50 of those Caleri pear. Now, if you turn around, Michelle, and show everybody, we have Bradford pear trees that are in our front driveway over there. Those pear trees are probably 40 years old. And every year the birds will eat the little decorative pears that grow on that and then they'll drop the seed out across this back pasture. They have come up. We've got some nice root stock out here growing. And as a matter of fact, two years ago, I just wanted to give it a try. I took some pear scion wood of uh, Florida 5845s, and I came right down here to one that was uh, growing up in our fence row, and I just put that little graft on. As you can see, it's grown straight up and this year, I've actually went around and I've harvested grafting wood off of it. So there's different areas I was able to, to harvest all this wood so that I can go out on this pasture and graft over more trees. Now I'll show you something else. The following year, since this one worked so well, I came right back beside it and just a foot away is another one that was coming up. Now get down here with the camera and I want to show you Whenever I cut this one off, on this side, I put a graft of Golden Boy. And then on this side of the, of the bark, I put a graft of Golden Boy. And they have both grown way up. Now on this graft, see how tall that is? I started cutting all my scion wood and harvesting it all the way back down, which left one tall stalk. But since this year, spring has hit, I've had this much growth probably at least a good foot that I can come back and I can continue harvesting scion wood. As a matter of fact, here's the bag of scion wood that I've harvested off of that one stick. Now what we're going to do is I already obtained permission from my neighbor and double checked with him just to make sure and let him know that I'm going to be out on his property. And we talked about this, that I'm going to go out here and I'm going to group, uh, graft these pear trees. The benefit is I have some of these same pear trees in my orchard. If the wildlife are coming and harvesting the pears and eating the pears um, that are growing up out here wild, then maybe they'll leave mine alone. And years down the road, you'll be able to walk through this when this is fully grown up into a forest and this, there'll be uh, pears you can walk through here and eat or my neighbor and his kids or grandkids. And later on down the road, generations, there's gonna be pears over here good edible pears. So let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you how to graft these over. All right, I'm gonna show you grafting over this one because it's right on the edge of the property and Michelle doesn't wanna come over here in the briars and the weeds and risk getting ants, on her, ants uh, on her feet. So we have this one, it's probably at least a, a two year old Caleri pear that's coming out. And if you look, there's other little Caleri pear that's coming up all over the pasture. Everywhere that I can see, I could probably count 20 or 30 just right here in, in uh, eye, eye shot of where we're standing. So I'm going to take my saw and I'll get close to the bottom, down below all the tree limbs. And we want to do this after the new growth has already started shooting or the buds are starting to break. That The reason because the um, the bark is starting to slip away from 
the branch. See that, how that bark just peels right off of that? That's gonna make for easier grafting. So I've taken one of my scions of Golden Boy, I went ahead and wrapped it in parafilm, and I'm gonna leave two buds at the top and I'm gonna come down to about the third bud mark and just make a, a clip of it. I'll take my grafting knife and about an inch up is where I'm going to start my wedge. Flip it over the other side. And I just kind of want to taper this all the way down to where it's wedge shaped. Where it doesn't leave any air gaps. So that looks good. Now within just a minute of doing that, you want to go ahead and start having your making your graft. You don't want that to oxidize. So we'll come about an inch down from the top at least, maybe a little more, and we'll put our blade in there and just sever the bark and then open that bark up a little bit. Put my knife in there and make sure it's good and separated right through there. And we'll take our graft, place it right in there. Now that we have that in there, we're gonna take electrical tape. And the reason I'm gonna use electrical tape is it's good and strong. I can put a good bind on it that'll hold that bark to the graft and hopefully prevent any kind of air from getting in there. So what I'll do is I'll stick it on there like that, get started. And then as I'm coming around where that graft is, I'm gonna pull that tight and stretch that electrical tape so it holds good, strong pressure. And then back to the top. I want to go just over the edge of the bark. Now generally, I have some tree coat, some pruning sealer, and I would put on that and seal that gap up. I've done this without doing it before, and these graphs take. Matter of the fact, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the graphs that I've been doing all along this spring and kind of show you the progress of what's been going on with them. So let's go on over and check out some of the other graphs that I've been doing. Just before we leave this graft, I always label it so that I know what this is. So next year I can come back over here and I can harvest scion wood from all these if I need to. I have about five different varieties of pear that I've been putting out. So this one, like I said earlier, is Golden Boy. I'll take Golden Boy. I was gonna say with all the wind, wouldn't you need to probably tape it? Tape it on there. Yep. I put this over the scion wood like that, but then I take a nice long piece of tape and then I tape the tag so that it can be red. Once this grows out and starts putting a nice growth on it, we'll take this tape off and leave that tag on it. That way it does not girdle. We're gonna come back and take this electrical tape off after about two months once this, uh, once this graft union sets. Thank you. I got that if you get the ladder.
Yesterday, this is one of the ones that I did. As you can see right across the top, I've got pruning sealer across the top of the uh, stump and on top of the graft itself just to prevent uh, loss of moisture. I didn't tape that one down. That's just something I decided to do at the end of the day yesterday. And uh, I'll probably end up going, going back and taping those down too. Right here we got Golden Boy is another variety that I just uh, grafted yesterday. All right, now I'll show you one that I did three weeks ago. Now this one I did three weeks ago, if you can see, they're starting to get a little bit of bud growth going off of that second bud from the stump. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got some side shoots coming off the stump themselves. We're gonna pull those off and focus that energy just on that one bud that's growing. That is Southern Bartlett. And if you can see across the, uh, the grass right through there, there's some blue tape on a stump. I've got Lacante growing on that one over there. So with bud pear being so popular all across the United State, States, we're experiencing wild Caleri pear growing up in all these neighborhoods and abandoned lots and uh, forestry edges and stuff. If you have access to scion wood and you're starting to see these Caleri pear to pop up, I encourage you to get permission go over there and convert those over to fruiting pear and uh, make some food out of these trees. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, <clears throat> subscribe, and follow us along if you enjoy the content that we're bringing to you. And don't forget to keep growing, keep building, and always keep adventuring. And together, we're Flomington Famous.